Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Simon with Top Dock Pro and today we're working on a 42 cruiser yacht and we're gonna be dealing with some surface level oxidation. Now, what I really wanna do is I wanna test Stark Level R versus your Meguiar's oxidation remover. I know a ton of people use this product. You can find it anywhere at Walmart, West Marine, very popular on Amazon, but this is a professional Stark Level R heavy cut compound. So let's go ahead and test these two and figure out which one is better. As we get started, we've got the Makita rotary buffer, which is a classic in the marine industry. Now to start off here, we are using Stark Level R as our first test. I'm just kind of spreading that compound around and getting it across the entire section. And then we're gonna start at 600 RPMs, which is the lowest setting on the buffer. And we're gonna work this compound in nice and slowly. It is a diminishing abrasive as is Meguiar's. So what that means is we got to run this really slow to give it that extra work time so it doesn't break down too fast into a polish. So very slow RPMs, nice and slow cut. Let it really dig in, get in there because that oxidation's, you know, light to moderate. So it is still decent and we want to give it as much work time as possible to pull it out. So we're going to do horizontal. We're also going to do some vertical patterns with the buffing. We're going to run that edge up on the top and just take it nice and slow. Got our pad slightly tilted for a little bit of extra cutting power. And then once we get a few more passes in, I will crank that buffer up to about a thousand RPMs, let it run a little hotter, let it finish down into a polish, and then we'll see what it looks like. Same process over here on the right side with Meguiar's oxidation remover. So you can see it's a slightly different color. Level R is more white and you've got oxidation remover is more of a brown color. Now they do handle a little bit differently as well. From what I noticed, oxidation remover does have some more lubricants in it. You know, all these compounds, they have fillers, they have lubricants, which determines a lot of things. How fast the compound breaks down also determines a little bit of the shine. So a lot of things going on in these compounds, but they certainly are much different. Also oxidation remover being more of a liquid and level R being more of a much more pastier, thicker product. So completely different in the way, you know, just visually and the consistency of the product. Now we are taking it nice and slow, just as we did with level R. We're at 600 RPMs cutting nice and slow because this one is also a diminishing abrasive, which remember, what that means is that, you know, your compound has heavy grits in it. And then as those grits break down, as you work in the compound, they turn finer and finer, which turns more into a polish. So we got to give it that work time. It's kind of like, you know, that's why they call compounding liquid sandpaper, liquid sanding, 
because you've got those really thick grits in there starting typically around 800 and then breaking down somewhere between 1200 1500 by the time you're all done so working this in nice and slow going to increase that rpm up to about a thousand finish it out in the same exact context as we did with level r and let's check out the results This is my final analysis between both the level R and the oxidation remover. So we have this on that side, and then we have level R on this side. Um, from a straight oxidation standpoint, it's very difficult to kind of pick a winner over the two. I think they're very similar. Um, the finish is very similar. Now the way they operate is quite a little different, honestly. Like the level R seems to be less watered down. And that seems to have like some water, some, um, I don't know, what would it be, like silicone? Or lubricants, lubricant, just different kind of lubricants, I'm lubricant. not sure. Yeah, so a little bit of different technology. You know, I kind of want to say like, it's just very hard to make a clear distinction without a gloss meter. Mm -hmm. Especially with this kind of oxidation, you know, like getting, gel. Getting different looks at it, it almost seems like this one might be more aggressive in terms of not, the compound doesn't break down and it doesn't really get as glossy, I would say, as level R, but this kind of breaks down a little finer and gives you just that tad more bit of gloss. For sure. But if you're dealing with a boat with oxidation, especially surface level, something like this that really hasn't been oxidized over one or two years, then you're gonna see similar results. So I just wanna make that very clear. Um, in terms of oxidation, I don't think Shark Level R stands out, you know, above all the other compounds out there, maybe like 3M Heavy, Super 600, r -Dex, right? Uh, but what I think Shark Level R really will shine at, and we'll have to come back and do another test on this, is I think the Level R is going to shine when you're sanding the boat down and you're trying to break down those scratches, get those scratches out. I think Stark Level R would blow away any other compound out there. But from a straight oxidation removal standpoint, I think a lot of these products are very similar. I don't think you're gonna, you know, have an advantage of going with one over another. And that's just kind of my take on it. What do you think, Jacob? Pretty similar with what Simon said. I was noticing the Meguiar's oxidation remover leave a little bit heavier of a swirl behind while still cutting a similar amount to the level R. And for me, if I'm gonna be able to leave a little bit nicer of a finish while still cutting the same amount of oxidation out, I'd probably choose level R and then say in the future we test them on a thousand grit sanding scratches, um, I'm pretty sure level R would take the cake just because it's different kind of workability. Yeah, I think level R and Jacob made a good point. I think it was more formulated for the scratch removal for sanding. So I think you'll see a huge difference in that. That's one of the only products that was kind of made for that purpose. Um, but from oxidation, man, I mean, it's just so similar. And you guys can it, see all this on impressive camera. It is impressive what the Meguiar's oxidation remover was able to do compared to some, some times in the past I've used it, you know. Didn't really get out that well. I wanted to jump on camera off the scene because sometimes when we're out there, it can be very loud or we might not get everything filmed the way we want it. And that was kind of the case here. The owner had actually started up the engine on the boat, so it got pretty loud. And I noticed too that we didn't really give you a clear 
winner on what product to choose. I know you guys really value our professional opinion, so I want to give that to you. Now, we did talk about a few things. Being out on the scene, even looking back now, it's really hard to decipher which product is actually better because they're both so similar. So I'm not sure that I can just make a clear winner. I think Level R might have been just a tad glossier, but there's no way of telling for sure without a gloss meter. So when I really look at this, I'm looking at the versatility of these products. Meguiar's oxidation remover is going to be less versatile than Stark Level R because Stark Level R has a better diminishing abrasive technology in terms of finding out scratches. So oxidation remover does have diminishing abrasive, but it's not as strong and as dialed in as Stark. So now we are working on a specific boat with a specific gel coat. So you have to realize that was our situation. If you guys want more of a well-rounded product to handle in multiple different situations for the boat that you're working on, Stark Level R will be a better option for you. There's lots of things to say about Level R. It's a professional grade product. They have other polishes and other products out there that align perfectly with an amazing system. One of the best systems out there for marine detailing. So our choice will have to be Level R. I hope that was helpful. Let's jump to the outro. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys do see something that we don't see in the video, be sure to drop your comment below on which one you think is better. Be sure to check out our website, topdocpro.com, 1%detail.com. Be sure to check out our one-on-one -on -one coaching, our ebook, all on 1% detail. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to leave a like, and we will see you on the next video. Peace out. How much do you take?